But you heard what he said? They come on their burn pages. Because listen, y'all think I be juicing and all that. Y'all think I be just be saying shit to be saying shit out of my mouth. I'm telling y'all what the fuck be going on. Them children trust who they trust. And that's just how it is. That's just how life's set up right now. Back when we was younger, we go go talk to our parents and let them know what the fuck going on. Then it's up to your parent to call the cops and then we get it working. These is the time. Them children go only talk to people who they trust. Period. You hear what he said? I'm going to hit you up and I'm going to tell you because I don't want to see what's on here. Them children, listen. All I know how to do is upload my pictures on Instagram, comment on people's stuff, scroll up and do that. Them children know how to do all kind of stuff with the social media. They know how to connect this page, connect that page, make this move slow, make that go fast. Them children know how to fucking this shit work. You see what I'm saying? Them children, listen. Them children know what be going on. And like I was explaining earlier this morning, sometimes you got to sit back and listen to what them children got to say. But they go only talk to certain people. And that's just what it is. Just just the life we live in. Them children go only talk to people who they feel comfortable talking to, who make them feel comfortable. Sometimes you got to sit there and let them children talk and say what's on their mind and say what they know and stop telling them this and telling them that when, like he said, you wasn't fucking there. So if you wasn't there, how you going to tell me what was going on and I was there? You see what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to listen and shut your fucking mouth. That's what I'm saying. Just because you're behind a badge don't mean you know what the fuck going on. Say what I said. It's a free country and I'm going to say what I got to say. Just because you got the badge and you got a high school diploma or you're from Idaho and want to come to New Orleans and be a police or you come from, or you're born and raised in New York and you done flew down here and want to become a police don't mean you know everything. Sometimes you need to shut your mouth and listen. Linda and Linda, listen. Let them people talk. Let me shut up. Let me shut up. Hmm. Hmm. Let me add you. Oh, Lord, this page, your name. I know about the case. <laughs> God. I wish about the case. I wish your mom passed tonight in their sleep since you won't come on here and play. And this is a serious case going on with your nasty, funky, disrespectful ass. Nah. Now bring that to the principal's office. Uh huh. Yeah. Bring that to the principal's office. Mm hmm. Oh, look at now they're sending the pictures. Oh, Lord, now they're sending the pictures of the people in the... They're sending the pictures of children in the place, in the in the party when they were shot. Please don't send that to me, y'all. For real, don't send that to me. I can't see it. Stop sending it, y'all. Please stop sending it over. Send it to the police. That's who you got to send it to. Who will make it matter? Who don't know nothing? Like Girl, the boy yeah, that got on here is lying. Cause how you stay, how you stay in okay. one spot the whole time they got war going on outside. Man, no way, no way. Yeah, girl, listen, come on now. You must not be from the street. He no. got to see he was on a sofa. He got to see he was on a sofa. But you see, you know, evidently you know he was on a sofa. He, he probably was on a sofa when everybody was there running. You know he ran too. But he gonna set it on here because everybody on here in exactly. the comments is insinuating right. things, and he know what the fuck he's talking about because he was there. You get it? Oh, yes, Lord. He's supposed to say he was on a sofa. What's up? <laughs> all the police was out there and all that? Where you was at, sir? I, on a sofa. What's I, up? I don't fuck with Come the Come on, bank. girl. Now, you must not be from the street. Where you from? The West Bank, huh? Mm-mm. Where you from? Oh, see, that's what it is. See, down here in New Orleans, there's nothing but a zoo down here, man. Yeah, man, I'm going to just get you up out of here because, see, down here is a different breed. I'm going to get you up off of here. I'm going to save you before them little young staff just come on here and be looking for you. You see what I'm saying? Down here, when I was younger, and you, you're leaving your friends, your auntie, your uncle, your, your whoever. Good night, y'all. Good night. Um, see you later. Love you. Love you, too. That's how we end it. 
nowadays, them children leaving each other, and all they're saying is, stay dangerous, be safe. That ain't normal. Y'all got to hear them children. When them children leave from each other, when they partners and all that, they doing their daps. I l first of all, first of all, when I was younger, 13, 14, 15, 16 years old, 17 years old, when I'm leaving my partners and all that, and if I'm telling my partners I love you and all that, they would have said I was gay, um, we, we, we fucking, man, they, they gay, blah, 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 blah. Nowadays, that's normal. Them dudes telling each other before they leave each other, man, I love you. Stay up. Um, be safe. Stay dangerous. That's not the words you tell somebody when you're leaving. That's how you know you got to listen to what them teenagers be saying. Y'all, it's crazy. It's written all over the face. They're giving you what's going on. Y'all sleep. Y'all parents are sleep. Y'all been out here fucking since y'all was 10 years old, having children when you're 15, and y'all acting like y'all stupid. They're leaving each other, telling each other, stay dangerous. I love you, nigga. Be safe. That ain't normal words to tell somebody that's going inside to go to sleep for school. You get it? Y'all crazy. Them children ain't crazy. Y'all crazy. But y'all don't hear it from me. That's why I talk to them children. That's why them children calls me and talk to me and tell me all kind of stuff. Because y'all, the parents and the police and the these kind of older people who act like they know everything and don't know nothing, say a bunch of all this and don't be saying nothing. You get it? That's what I'm saying. Y'all got to sometimes let them children talk. It ain't that they don't want to cooperate. It's that y'all think y'all know more than them. And then y'all go to ask all them questions. And before you know it, they're trying to help you and tell you what's going on. But y'all tell them all kind of shit, trying to trick them up and trick them, making them think that they didn't do the fucking murder. Now you got me saying I'm the murder. And all the while, I'm sitting on the fucking sofa. Don't know what's going on. You get it? That's just why they don't talk to y'all. Now I say what I say. Send it to whoever you want to send it to. But it's the truth. Now let's continue on with this. Girl, it's common sense. You have to stay dangerous. You see what I'm saying? That's children saying that. Go let them say it. They're not blind. They're oblivious or really don't want to face reality. Sound about right? That's kids. A kid wants to be a kid like Chuck E. Cheese. You get it? Y'all got to stop acting like y'all perfect. Listen, if you're perfect, it's not the lie for you, fam. And I'm just being honest. If you're perfect, this ain't the place for you because none of us are on here perfect. What's up? I'm chilling, bitch. You know cool, that? and you looking dangerous. No, fat. You know that. Nothing much. Yeah, trying to see what's shit. going on, bro. Trying to oh, get to the man. bottom of the situation, bro. Yeah, you got to do that. You got to stay in your own lane. Stay in your own lane and stay in your own traffic. Please stay out the way. I'm telling you. I got you. I'm telling you, you got to stay out, I got out the you, way. Dog. Got to get going, I'm telling you. Yeah, stay out the way. Stay dangerous. Ooh, no. That's what I'm saying. Then y'all get in these comments and y'all see all kind of stuff on in these comments. And then when the people read the comments, snapshots, just get your picture, hunch it down like a dog. Then you'd have forgot them. You don't know them. See what I'm saying? Y'all got to stop on the social media. Y'all takes the social media. Do y'all know that the um the state of Louisiana What's said going on, that Keith? you can use social media as evidence now? Say, I, I, I don't want to talk about this case. Say, I'm you trying to go I find out what's phone. going on, I told fam. you what I was coming on here for. Man, I'm talking about that toy giveaway, say. I don't remember mm -hmm. what happened. Let me know. I'm bringing it back. The, the, the one in Elgin's at the Walmart say. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? The one when the Santa Claus was throwing candy canes at the children. He telling the children, get out here. What place. happened? Mm -hmm. That's what I came on here to run for you. Yeah, Santa Claus was saying that, kid. Santa Claus was saying that? Because you wasn't in the bag, kid, with us. Oh, no. Nah. I ain't heard him say you, 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 you know who this is? This is your future bodyguard. Mm-hmm. The one that's supposed to bodyguard, they ain't supposed to touch you. Be able to, I ain't supposed to be able to touch you. You remember that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was supposed yeah, yeah. To but see, that was that type of thing. My security told, oh, you told my security that. I ain't gonna be like that. I'm gonna be like that. Oh, no, nah. Don't be like that. That's why I keep They, was, they knew that you wasn't. They knew you but wasn't yeah, a threat. That's, that's why. 
the event was nice or whatever like that, but you we need to do better with Santa Claus because them children was saying Santa is mean. I'm lying, sister. Am I lying, sister? Okay, they were so the saying, saying Santa Claus is mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give a black and a black no, it was a nice event. Oh, all. wow. But well, I'm going to with, um, I'm gonna have to get with um... Yeah, say bye. Wait, don't do what I All right, Faye. All right. Oh, Lord. They done wrestle Santa to the ground. God damn. They done wrestle Santa to the ground. Oh, Lord. Damn. Why she was out there. Must have been on her chair. Nothing. So I'm trying to see if he was sitting on the sofa. How he knew who was What's up, for who? Girl, we but just answered that question. You know, listen, day. he's supposed to say and he was on the sofa. whoever you is, baby, I got your Addy. Please believe that. You and that little girl. Thank you. Sound about right. There you go. Mm -hmm. So he need to know what's going to. Oh, so the. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, we're not trying to wrestle, y'all. Not We're not going to wrestle this situation. It's just that we got to sometime listen. You got to listen to the cheering and what's going on. That girl better come on here. Something ain't right. Everybody came on here and they say what they were saying, and she's still M I A. Something right. All right, that person declined. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. No, we only have four. Myra Playhouse, what's going on? You only got four, what? What you got four, Faye? Okay? Nigga, she done hung up. My rest and these kids, they unhinged. Well, um, Nothing much. I just hop hey, in real quick. How you doing, I just babe? What's going on? My little two cents in. I just want to know, like, what y'all gonna do about it? Because, like, y'all, I know, I understand. Like, y'all can't really. I don't want y'all go out there with guns and be gangsters or whatever. But y'all can at least like do a stop the violence protest. You know what I'm saying? Something a little uh, second line or something. You know, get the kids together, put them, put stuff out there for them to do. Besides, you know what I'm saying, like some violent, like the music, change the music or anything. Like, is y'all gonna do something besides just say, oh, oh, that's just what happened because it's the orders. I, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. My idea was at a party, fam, on Christmas. Tell me what happened. Oh, yeah. You don't know what happened. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna just do Asta, you know, just Asta. Asta. So you won't come up here and give ideas and options on things that need to be done and you don't know the story. Asta. La Bista. Yes, Lord. You just got to sit down and listen, babe. Please sit down and listen before you come on here talking about these children. You must stay in Egypt somewhere and pass in your two cents because you think them children can't get to you. Them children still call and go where they got to go. Tell you. So I ain't talking about the situation that we got going on right hey, here. Hey, what's I going on? I case that I want to talk about. So right. I ain't, I'm not good go with ahead, live that. stuff, okay. but I have a daughter who got shot when she was seven years, when she was seven years old, and she not oh. now. And the news made it seem like Ooh, it was no. a random right. shooting in the area or whatever like that. But that's not the case. Somebody came, two dudes came up to my auntie right. house to shoot one of my two cousins. Well, and it's been two years now. And still to this day, right. I ain't hear nothing. 
I don't know why she got shot. I don't know who the bully was supposed to be for. Family branched away. And I'm just trying to get answers. So I don't, I don't know if this is the right time or this is the right place, but I need answers. I have... Girl, listen, it's the right place because yes, I can but promise NOPD you. ain't doing Every nothing about it. On I checked NOPD them is about on a here. year ago. Go ahead. And they didn't even know who my baby was. They didn't know who I was. They had to ask me who dealt with the case all that. And I, like I said, I ain't getting on here to like downplay nobody. Ooh. I'm getting on here because again, my whole family, we done branched apart. I cut right. everybody off due to my baby situation because she come first. And I have pictures. I have a picture of both of my cousins. And I do know after this, I'm gonna get a whole lot of backlash. I'm gonna get a whole lot of mad bitches. I'm gonna get a whole yes, yes. So you get a backlash and a whole lot of mad bitches because you trying to yes, get please. justice for your child, girl. Please, them hoes crazy. They complain with you behind yes. you trying to and get justice behind your seven year old child that is now nine years old that was shot. Surgery, girl, January, please, them hoes crazy and delusional. On her back, still going through shit every day, still in pain since the day she got shot every day, and again, nobody don't know nothing. Nobody. Ain't saying nothing. Cousins branched away, all that. And I'm just, I, I just would like to know something. Because honestly, I just want all four of them dead, if you ask me. But I, I'm just leaving it at the guy. Ooh. Yeah, but you, you, but you know, there you go. There you go. There you go. So you my leave daughter, it to God and don't she question God. Let God do what he got to do, fair. Saying she was in a, pool of blood she could just see herself in a pool of blood telling me who she feels like she think it's for like all that so like i said i just one of my cousins named chris and one of my cousins named do raymond one of them is a kid he was what 16 so again the dudes my daughter was outside painting the dudes came up to the yard to the specific house i wasn't there I was getting ready to go to work. I dropped my daughter off at this house and I paid for her to be watched. And she got shot though. I got a call saying Chloe got shot. Mind you, I just talked to Chloe five minutes before she got shot and she was good. Chloe asked my cousin, can she go outside to go paint? At my house, Chloe don't paint in my house. She knows she got to go outside. We live in a good neighborhood, so she ain't got to worry about nothing. So she was doing outside. what she was used to. She asked, can she go outside to paint? Muffin told her no. That's my cousin. She told her no. Chloe asked the second time. And then she ended up saying, yay. Five minutes later, Chloe got shot. Chloe still to this day says she think it's her fault because she shouldn't have never asked twice. And I have to tell my daughter, that's, it's not your fault. You wanted to go outside and paint. Cool. That was it. But again, I just want answers. And my family ain't trying to give it to me, so I was just hoping that I could get some type of answer this way. I I D oh, I yeah. DM'd you on your other Damn. page. I DM'd DM you in your um a video DM of my daughter yeah, DM on your other page. Yes. On the official page. Yeah, the official key care official. Okay. Oh yeah, that's my management team. Right. Yeah, but I'm a I'm a um see in the right direction. All right. Girl, that's big. See what I'm saying? They got real life issues. That girl's that girl sitting chills through my body. And her and she, she ooh. And you know she ain't lying. You could hear it all in her voice. Her voice was shaking. That's sad, yeah. Damn. She done made me nervous. Somebody texted me saying that the girl, Neek, who y'all been following, who said that she was running to the call, then deleted her page. Lord, have mercy. This is a lot tonight. Why did that girl, Neek, deleted her page? Hello? 
They say the girl Neek Neek Federal then deleted her page. Why? You said you was running and you ain't had nothing to do with it, and now you deleted your page, girl. Girl, what's going on? Yes, she making herself look guilty. Not much. Hey, what's I going on? Say, I have two things I want to say. It was good meeting you today at work in the look cafeteria or whatever. But first off, the mad not adding with the boy sitting on the sofa. Everybody knew all this knew that. That's not adding up. Number two, you sitting on the sofa just having a girl with the army pants jump in your lap. And you put a belt and use it as a tourniquet to stop the bleed. While wall wall three going outside you just so happen to still be sitting on the sofa and not get hit one time but you know what car the girl got in you know when the car was going slow down the street you know everything i'm just trying to see when he gonna call and collect his crime stopping money because he knew everything that happened since he was sitting on the sofa we need to bring him back up to the floor man hey, listen i ain't gonna lie i understand him because if i was there and World War Four was going on outside the sofa, I would have been under it. And any bitch would have jumped on me, I would have threw them the other way, and I would have jumped out the window or something. I'm telling you. I just told you last week, me and my aunt was sitting in the car at the DJ. They went to shooting. My <laughs> aunt jumped out the car and was talking about she was getting under the car. That's what I'm saying. With stuff going on, like that going on, you don't know what to do. I don't know if I was... <laughs> I probably would have jumped on them too if I was on the sofa. What's up? Girl, with stuff like that going on, you don't know what to do. And then you hear all and the was, millions of bullets going on? No people say the bullets that I'm saying. Guy go through walls. Go through Girl, walls. please. So he, he probably was nervous. He didn't know what was going on. He was sitting on the sofa probably shitting on himself. I probably and was the same thing. Too. I'm Girl, not going to lie. You got 10,000 you know uh, 10, people in this live. This shooter's in this live watching. And he could screenshot me. It's fine. Because I got bullets too. But you in this live and you know what's going on. But no, you need to be a man and go ahead and say, you know, take your lick. <laughs> well, yeah, don't be a man and come on here because I'm going to hang the whole phone up and throw the whole phone away. Please, I can't look at the murder in his eyes. I can't do it. Just go turn yourself in or go talk to somebody for help or something. Please don't come up here and say you did it because I'm just going to cut the whole phone up and throw the phone out the window. I don't want no parts of it. I'm telling you. I but don't. I'm just saying, we, you know what I'm saying? Back, we just need the real Ooh, story. No. Oh, we need Nick. She deleted her page. Something ain't right. No, he said he going to call. Oh, yeah, the girl Nick deleted her page. What that mean? Ain't nobody asking she her to come on here and say, she ain't had no parts of it. One plus one Girl, is two, I ain't so saying I nothing. Know. Listen, I ain't saying nothing. Sound about right? Sound about right. <laughs> but see, one plus one been two for years. But these new years, these late new children, one you plus right, one equal right. 22. You get it? I'm going to see what's going on, Keith. Right. All right. Thank you, Keith. All right. Sound about right, babe. All I'm right. trying to tell you. Uh-huh. You get it. Yeah. Yes, Lord. See, many, many, many years ago, one plus one equal two. But nowadays, one plus one equal twenty-two. You get it? All right. Just trying to help it make trying to make it make sense for somebody. Please. Where is these people who help these children on a daily? Where is um now and all these different people? And um I don't know what's going on. You know what? Tomorrow I'm going to sign an application to go help the children too. Okay. The children will talk to me. We getting these bitches I off the street. I just went live. Mm -hmm. What's up, girl? Someone up? is saying that I'm lying about being trans. Well, I, you know, Grace, I don't know what's going on. I have you, a photo. But you, you give me real girl. Now, I never knew that you was the trans. Don't, don't put your bird on here. This is a photo of me when I was a baby. Well, oh, you're about to show your bird or something. I'm going to say, please don't put and I have another photo. I'll go get Ooh, it. Oh, they really do look like you, but girl. But whoever's saying that oh. I'm lying about it to get attention and shit, that's not true. I just want y'all to know I am transgender. I came out at such a young age before I hit puberty. So that's why I look so good today oh. and sound so good. I'm on a lot of hormones and puberty blockers and right. like a lot of this, like medicines and stuff. And... If you you saw my post, right. but I I'll send it to you. But people who no, I didn't see it. I have to go see I, it. I sent you the picture. Of send me the picture, Grace. Send me the picture of them uh, people fighting you.
So who saying okay, I'm lying? You, they, let me That's see. That's just not right. Okay. It, it really isn't. I don't want y'all saying that because I'm proud that I'm alive today. Right. We 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 happy to alive. Grace, you know what I'm saying? Just because you live in your life don't mean that they had to do it. You know what I'm saying, Grace? Now, I don't see you sent me nothing. That was the I took Oh, I see Grace. Oh, you sent nine of them. You can see I have like a big bump on my face and I was all bruised. And I have permanent brain damage and like fractures and stuff. I had to go to the doctor. I had a third degree concussion. Yeah. I'm not lying about any of this because you. Have oh my God. I, I know you're not. I'm looking at the black eyes. Let me show the people, Grace. Oh, no. Grace is not lying, y'all. I'm telling you, Grace is not lying. She sent the pictures over. She got the receipt. They done beat the piss out of Grace. Oh, Lord. I could tell. And Grace is sweet as pie. Mm hmm. Oh, look her. Oh, she said, got punched. Oh, Lord. That's how, at least saying like her lashes off. She ain't got the strip. She got the individual lashes on. Oh, I see her face was swole. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, yeah, see right there. I could probably see like the little boy part in her. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was so swollen red. Oh, my God. Go ahead on. Oh, I can see it. Why would they do this to Grace? Grace is a victim. I'm going to have to call my police friends and see what's going on. Grace is a victim at this point. I'm telling you. Grace is a victim. Mm. Oh, oh, Lord. Yep, all her face was black. It went past the eye all the way to her jaw bones. And she got brain damage. Whoever that bastard is got to go to get justice. We got to get justice. Oh, my gosh. We got to get justice for Grace. I don't know what's funny for y'all. Grace says she got brain damage, and I can see all her face. The black eye went all across her face. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. They done played in Grace's face. Got punched. Yes, Lord. I got somebody for you, Grace. I'm going to get somebody on the case, I'm telling you. I got people, Grace. I'm telling you. I'm well connected. In the city, I'm telling you. Thank God they ain't hit hard like puss. Because you would have been looking for your teeth too, I'm telling you. Lord have mercy. Why would they do that? That is, um, oh, there go now. What can we, let me bring in the professional. Yes, D. Royce, she was brain dead, she said. What's up, King? Now, what's going on? I missed the fucking you line. I'm Did you see that picture that you sent? Uh, Lord, children you shooting and killing. Why they, Why y'all only have little girls? I was with the boys, boys and the girls. Keep. Fifteen years. Well, I. I, I work I'm with the boys. I'm not saying. I'm not saying a joke. The boys are my favorite. Well, I'm trying, trying to find. The bottom line is a lot of you know. But I'm trying to find out what. What are no? What are y'all? Where y'all y'all getting boys that go to that go in private school that's living a good life? Who is yeah, when I, is y'all go going to who are working on boys that should be killing them? Well, I don't know. I don't. just think you know we have to do like we see a lot of these kids online. They post these videos with guns. Well, you know that's the ones y'all need to go see. Like. Everybody see them posting the guns. Everybody see them talking about the guns. Like the people in the community with the kids. And nobody is saying anything. Like, we have to change the narrative. Well, you're right. You're right. But I'm going to tell you what I saw. I mm. went to the candlelight last week. And they had a bunch of them out there, 14, 15, and 16 years old. Because the um, okay. the kid, my cousin who was killed was 15. Them little boys had on book sacks and had guns in the book sack at 14, 15. And I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie because I ain't perfect. I ain't going to lie. I ain't tell none of them. I ain't tell none of them put the guns down. Well, I ain't tell none of them give me the guns. I was just looking. And I... Well, I know what the 
upset, girl. I don't want to get there. Was already crying and upset. I was the wrong thing. And it's all squeezing on me. Like, why you need a gun? Well, listen, they so follow up with me. They hit me up, talking about, I got you. Oh, what's up? Everything good? I got you. And I be asking them, you good? I send them a heart and tell them, no, listen, you're not lost out here. If you need help, reach out to me, call me. And they do. They keep in contact with me. But I'm not going to tell them nothing about putting no guns out on it because I don't know what to say. I don't want to get them mad and say the wrong thing and they start shooting at me. I'm just being totally honest. I don't know what to want me to say. I ain't going to sit on here and lie to you. In fact, that's what I did. You know what I'm saying? Them children, I guess they feel like they got to... They, I guess they feel like they got to protect themselves. I don't know what's the they, reason and how they're getting all these guns. I don't know. And I'd be lying to you if I told you that. I'm telling you what I saw. I'm just being on. My parents, my girl, need to get selling insurance. Y'all have to get the kids insured. We cannot be saying go fund me every time. But, Keith, we're going to do a teenage seminar. We used to do these way a lot. We're going to do it in February after my degree. Yeah. But you going to have security? Because I'm going to come. Because you know got, I'm bringing my own security. Me. You got to know that. And we have Advocating. Yeah, but I'm going to have to bring security because this is big. Y'all might say something to piss some children off. And listen now, when y'all go talk to these children, I'm being honest right now. When y'all go talk to them children, y'all got to let them children say what they got to say. Y'all don't know everything. I mean, a, lot, a lot of the kids are hurting yeah, and a lot of the parents are not holding the kids accountable. Maybe you working like you. Right. we have a lot of good parents right now. We do. It's like a better time. Like after the storm, it was like a lot of kids was on their own after Katrina. Like I've been, I've been doing this for a long time. So you do have mm -hmm. a lot of parents. That's but you gotta say this part, Demel. But we got good parents. The they the got good parents. Was, guys, but you gotta keep to going. We more of that because I think it was educating people. Some people. Know how to do yes, but you got to you got to go further with it. When you say that you got good parents, you got good parents and they scared. See, that's the ending part. We got good parents, but they scared. The parents be scared too. Them children gets out there, cuss, fuss, and tell them they go blow your head off in front of the children, in front of the parents. And the parents don't say nothing because they're scared. They, you see what I'm saying? That's what's going on. Same parents you got to call them and spade argue spade. with the people that's teaching the kids and they want to fight you and sometimes, you crazy. know, and these are the kids that sometimes doing things. The parents are in denial. However, we have to just hold our kids accountable. Where are they? At 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Mine can't go nowhere and I don't know. I'm spanking them. And, you know, if you want to yeah. do these things, you can't live in my house. We have to lay the law down. Well, you tell me where they at at 10 o'clock at night. And they outside with their book set on with a gun in them. I'm telling you. They post trying to talk about, the talk about they go the ride TV for their friends. The yeah. And the teachers have to start asking them, what you need a gun for? And start changing the narrative. Start bringing the children on the trip. Like, go to the park. Go do something with the kids. You know, and and I don't think, like, Nothing is wrong with them going to a party, but we have to, as the family, the aunties and the uncles and the mamas and the daddies, you have to just chaperone the parties. I mean, just like y'all do on Saturdays, y'all give them Yes. We invite the like, parents, too. Don't talk about like, coming here with us. I mean, yes. I've seen a lot yes. of parties at yes. that place. A lot of people have things to say about that place, but I've seen so many parties. And though it's been safe. It's been a good place for kids. It has been so said. I don't want to separate parties, and I mean, they have security. I know it. it ain't it. Girl, please, once the children got what they go like, do in their head, it's over. But, you know, you can see the video. It was a mass shooting. Them people ain't care about who the target was. It was a mass shooting, and it's sad, and we need to hold them accountable. When we see them posting the guns and talking yeah. that shit, because they like to expose themselves. That's right. That's right. So let me, my question is, so why when things like this happen, because guess what, it's a very unfortunate situation and it's sad that it did happen. But why when situations like this happen, we got to point the finger. We instead of got to hold ourselves taking accountable. The accountability. Eye finger. We have to apply the eye finger. You could have the way them, the way them people yeah, rolled up, say. it didn't matter who was out there. They had that on their mind. They have so many stories circulating. The people got put out the party. They had a fight in the party. I don't know. All those kids know what happened. Who was at that party? And they need to roll that shit out. Roll that shit. Out. Tell the and who tell knows? The story. What you say? I can hear tell you. Tell the fucking story. Like who knows? Who, who, who knows what happened at the party? I can hear you. The kids that was who know what happened at the party? What you say? I can know. hear you. Because okay, you have too many okay. stories, and I mean, I'm sure we got the wrong story, the right story, some added on. Tell our kids have to stop being afraid, but I will. 
our judicial system also have to do things to protect the people that's selling. And they need to catch these people and make an example out of them. I don't care if you my cousin, cat, dog, son. If you did that, you're going down. Hmm. See, when they see hmm. the children posting all Sounds the pictures like the with the guns towers. and this and that, and they waving them and they ain't up. What? Why nobody not telling them nothing? These people got big old families. We know the families. Y'all see what's going on when the children are waving. I don't see. I ain't gonna lie. I don't see it. I don't see it. They posting. It, I don't see it. And they got a lot. And some guess what? Some of the teenagers are putting me in their close friends, but they ain't putting the guns in the close friends. They are putting them the girls and all in the close friends. I just keep scrolling though. I ain't gonna I lie. Like, I keep scrolling. I ain't gonna look at. It. I keep scrolling. Conversations they like put me in their close friends, but I don't and see we the guns. Tell people it's okay to hold people accountable. I mean, today you might tell me something that I'm doing wrong, and I mean I want to receive it, but tomorrow I might get it. Hold the parents accountable. Y'all see them leaving their children. Y'all see them want to fight the teacher because the teacher held their child accountable. The children, come on here, Kelly. With the comments wrapping them up, the people trying to say it's their fault. That's why the little girl not going to come back on because evidently she didn't have her children with her. Well, that's what I'm saying. 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 Well, that's what I'm you know, you can't say what you're going to run it. How you going to run push it? your shit off. So the little girl clear, was trying to clear her name. That little boy simply said what you just said. Everybody in the, the, the shit happened in the party. Everybody was in the party. So whether he was on the sofa, off the sofa, around the corner, on top of the porch, he was at the party and he couldn't drop names. He was in he the party. A, 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 they hate, we hate rap. That's what we're taught. We hate rap. Hey. So I can't he do names, it. But what he was he do doing it. was clearing that little girl name up that they got her down bad. She was going to get people up. That's the narrative we have to change. A rat only applies to when you're doing criminal activities. When it's you innocent see, people getting hurt, that's not like a rat. Somebody wrote in the comments, the people. killers might be on this live. So you think I'm going to jeopardize my life to tell y'all what happened? That y'all not going to save me or protect me? So... So you, you got to think. And then let me tell you something. I went to one of them parties at that house. I was bringing my baby to one. Three blocks long, every last child out there had a gun. And one of them that looked like he had some sense. I said, what do y'all oh, have no. these guns for? He said, I said, who are you beefing with like that? He said, I got this for protection. And he looked like he come from a home. He looked like he come from a good home. But I can guarantee you his mama probably would have put pain. both her hands on a chopping, chopping block. That her child ain't have no gun out there. So it's the same for all them children that have a gun. Whether they got morals, values, two parent okay. home, one parent home, whether they finances it to the roof, whether they eliminate poverty, it's a thing for all them kids because they don't have nothing else to do. They don't want to play park ball with their five year old five year old little cousins. If they ain't starting in high school, they ain't into all that. So that's the thing what they doing. They doing what they what they live playing that game all, all their life. That shit is embedded in their head. That's why they could shoot them guns and you could see fire and they not reacting to it because they're used to it. They, they, they're immune to it. I, but I know a lot of people that play the game and you know, the grand stuff all it, like it, that. That's not it. It's, it's, amazing. Amazing. it's all about you know, it plays girl, amazing. Amazing. when I was a children's age, girl, girl, we had nurse. Super Mario Brothers. Girl, please. I mean, you know, some I'm not, not going to say you wrong, but I just feel like my my just oldest because, son was raised on the right stuff too. Like, like they was. Just I have a general. I've been doing this 15 years. Girl, this is big. Listen, listen, listen. That's what I'm saying. Back in the day, we was robbed. We was robbed. Grace off the of Super Mario Brothers. Now we got all of them. And then Luigi was a pope. It's a, yeah, it's I oh, Lord. <laughs> It's an influence, and just because you, you are blessed this to have a child that not go that way, yeah. a lot of children are going that way. So it's not, it's, it's just not about no. one or two. No. Huh? No. 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 First of all, and I know, like, I work with kids. I've been working with kids. At the end of the day, the game, all this rap music, when we was, when I grew up, I listened to hip hop. I love That's why you so G up now. Like, it's so many people. You are. No. Oh, I'm not G'd up. Okay. But, uh -huh. but you G'd up. But anyway, it's like that still does not make the whole difference. We have to raise our parents.
say my oldest son be in the streets. Girl, my oldest son don't even live here. So anyway, um, we just have to hold these people accountable. The get, like you're gonna have things that influence kids. You're gonna have rap music, you're gonna have video games, but at the end of the day, the community, the aunties, the uncles, like we see what these children be doing sometimes. It's not it's not it's not in the blood. Sometimes, but listen, I ain't gonna lie. With me, I'm listen. I seize it. I seize it. I seize it now, and I just, I just can't agree with that part. I seize it. I could tell them children, listen, girl. Listen, I can say a lot of things. I see the children with the guns, and I'm gonna say something. You know me. I got to say something. What are you doing? And look, I'm gonna play with them. Look, please. Look, I'm out here. Please put it away. And I ain't gonna lie. Knock on whatever this is here. They never right. not one time say disrespect me. They be like, you right, Keith. We ain't gonna fuck with that. You out here. But he know. He know. And they'll leave like that, and they don't, and they don't. I'm telling you, we're going to leave, and nothing happened. I ain't going to say all, all of them like that, but I ain't never met one yet that ever was disrespectful to me. Now, I done walked up, but and I done saw them cussing mama and their grandparents out like a I'm dog. I'm not talking about right now when they already turned on to guns. I'm not talking about 16, 17, and they already I'm talking about That's younger. I'm talking change about. The they narrative. saw that 12 and 13 like, with the guns. You have it is a lot of salt, but it's right. a lot of freedom that some kids have. And you have some parents that's condoning the shit. You have to hold and them accountable and make it tight. The elephant is and that's, making that's uncomfortable one thing for I think, everybody so else. I think the... So 12, 13, 14, I got, friend, I got principals, like people in middle right. schools. This shit is changing. These kids are changing the whole dynamic on how they're rolling. And at the end of the day, somebody see them doing this. A neighbor in the street. Parents don't never know they're real. I don't know my like kids are going to be a whole nother person. I'm I really mean, and truly I'm mm. at a younger age. I'm not talking about when their mindset already made up on breaking their calls. Right. At the end of the day, it's not long jeopardy. And you have too many people that's building platforms, that's making money, that's setting examples, graduate from college. It's so many different paths you could go. People just right. have to keep educating people and keep teaching them and holding their sisters, their uncles, their aunties, and all that accountable. It's all about accountability. If you see me doing I'm not showing the love to my child. You know, I think social media, like, people talk about it, but it's so many things that people get to see and mimic on good family and, like, just morals and what should, what should you be te teaching your kids? You know, you got financial literacy like a lot of the shit is poverty why would they be breaking in the why would well, my child won't go break in the coat you know like like it's just right. all about what we what we promote to the kids like if we let them listen right but it's other thing it's small thing it's small things like see that's what i'm saying like it's small things sometimes like i say y'all I, yeah. I don't think y'all understand it as adults I, but sometimes you just got to get on their level Walking up to them, they don't want to hear about no fight and not and why not why you shouldn't be fighting, why you shouldn't have the gun, even though they know they shouldn't have a gun, but they don't want to hear that. They want you to tell them, I ain't gonna lie, boy, you fresh today. Oh, how many girlfriends you got? I know you fresh. Or the girls want to hear, you some cute and fine. How many boyfriends you got? You got to sometimes give them their level and talk to them. That's the kind right. of things they want to hear. And believe it or not, it may sound crazy, but that's when they gonna start respecting you. Oh, I ain't gonna lie. He said I was fresh. That means he on my trail. Let me make sure next time I go, I, you know, I'll be fresh. That's the kind of things they don't want to hear. They don't want to hear, you don't go out there fighting. Put that gun down. They don't want to hear that. They not, oh, keep watching. Let me be fresh. That's that's how children think. And sometimes right, you gotta put yourself in their shoes. They don't always want to hear that. All that, go to school, graduate. Da, 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 da. They don't hear all that. But you know what? The white people don't teach their children to go to school and get an education and, and, and get a good job. The white people teach their children, go to school. Get an education so you can own this business and you can hire niggas. That's what they're teaching their children. We teach our children, go to school, get a good mm -hmm. education, get a diploma so you can get a good job. I, I don't think it's that bad no more. I think, like, before you had a lot of people not really shining light on it, but now you have a lot of people. You have people that's reachable. Yeah, it's worth it. Let me tell you something. Now, 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 oh, now, now, oh, you. They taught you to say that, Pat. This is the worst it's ever been in all my days. In all right. my days, I ain't never it heard works. of 13, 14, 15 years old. Because you know why? Girl, you know why? The because ever. they are identities are protected. Please. 
You know what I'm saying? They don't disclose who the criminals is because they're minors, so their identities is automatically so their parents is embarrassed, so their parents ain't exposing that they that's their children. I guarantee you, if them because them children be getting caught, but they minor, so they get right, they get released right back to their parents. But I guarantee you. Tell me they done bust every window I had. I they done broken my car. If they had and a and get out and get uh, fired. Uh, next day, girl, please the don't tell me. Was, call me the narrative, the narrative will change because the parents will be held accountable. Because now we will know this city small. Everybody know everybody. We might not know everybody, but everybody know damn near everybody. So once we see somebody child up there. That that makes the parent that will make the parent accountable. I, I, have, I have a real question. I have a real question as to how we figure the children not gonna do what we do every day. Everything mm -hmm. you talk about these children doing, the parents do every day. Adults do yeah. every day. These guns and stunting and holding up our baby daddies and all that, we do that every day. Mm -hmm. Don't do it every day. You can't expect children to not do what we applaud as adults. You can't help a child that live with a mama that think what they doing is all right because she do it with her baby daddy every single day. You can't help a child if you don't help the mama. If I get a child for one hour a day, but they live with a mama for seven days a week, if I don't help that mama, that mama have a big influence more than I have. Mm -hmm. And everything you are saying going to go on deaf ears because we act like if we skip over the parents, we're going to help the children. And it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. They don't have nothing for parents. Not they don't parents. have nothing. Just blame. They just blame the parents. But the parents have the parents don't have nobody. The parents the, have nobody. Hey, Mona. The, the adults don't have nobody. Every day I get on social media, I see parents fighting, adults fighting. So when I turn around and I see the children, how you want me to get a child their mama fighting around the corner? How you want me to do it? That's why the friends got accountable. They see it. Everybody condoning it. Ooh, I follow But then my fight. question is, how you hold them accountable? I'll be in the courtroom with these children. Who hold them accountable by having that tough conversation with children? I tell you, I done walked in the courtroom with children and told a judge, lock me up. I'm going to be home in two weeks. They didn't told a judge that because the state can't hold them. These children ain't as stupid as we think they are. Hell no. They know more than us. They know the law better than us. The children know the law better than us. They know how to out. Well, that's what I've been they trying to say. To out, but nobody don't want to hear that. They know how to outdo their parents. Because the parents don't know. The parents don't have no guys. A lot of the parents is young. A lot of the parents, un, like a generation come from up under me, they gallowing their own parents. They go against their parents. We was raised not to do so we have all of respect for our parents. Well, who's telling that person when they see them battling their parents? Let me tell you what's funny, Mona. I wouldn't say nothing. I'll say something, I'll say something I'll too. too. Oh, I said, I said, I said, when I see them cussing in mass, I pulled up at them all out, cussing them all out, I'd be like, no, we're here all up now. And they'd be like, man, Keith, you don't know what she's doing, bro. She doing this, this, and that. First of all, when I get mad, I'm out, I'm out, ain't no such thing as though she did this, because we leave it to our children. Grown ups is stuck through their children. They're giving these children that's doing all this shit is dressed to kill. These badass children get the PlayStation 5, getting the joy, because it's really how a parent look. So when my child step, oh, you can say one thing. My child dressed to kill. Your child don't deserve half of the shit they got. Because your child don't listen to you. They disrespectful. But I don't want you talking about me as a mama. So I got to make sure my child look good when they step outside. Because it's a reflection of me. See, what we don't realize is all this is about how we look as parents. We be stuck for each other instead of being parents. To hell with how I look. Do my children even deserve to be at a party? Half of them exactly. children can Left, leave, put them off the car and pull off. You don't know who giving the party. You don't know what adult giving the party. You tell me they had no adult supervision. Look at the little girl that got shot after the football game. Every single football game, them children had guns. But you know what the parents do? They pull up, they let them kids out the car, and they pull the fuck off. That's a reality that I face every fucking day going into the courtroom with these children. Because when I go into the parent house, I can't tell their parents nothing. So what you want a, what you want the activists to do? Because so many people say we ain't saying nothing. We here. Feet, feet down. Let we here. When I tried to be an activist, when I tried to get involved and, and stop these children, 
the parents wanted my head. The, the mom was like, all of a sudden, now you won't be down. You won't stop the violence and all that. I'm like, are you serious? Because if you don't want to stop it, why the fuck you listen to their mama before they listen to anybody? To be honest with you, some of them, but they don't have no guidance. The parents just be. They they just be it, it's the children don't have nothing to do. The children don't want to do children activity. The children yeah, won't. Don't. They won't drink. They won't pop pills. Well, I'm trying to, well, I'm trying to find out. Keep my daughter going to the skin ring and elbow and S in a movie. It's open. Home. They don't want to do yeah. that. Them, them children don't, they they don't want to do that. Them that stuff they ain't going to down. Them children want to act like we act. And what you going to do when a 16-year-old party being thrown and the parents bringing daiquiris and bringing vapes to the party? Exactly. What you think they're going to do? That's the ugly reality in the city. They not going to go jump. They open elbow X on Manhattan. Them children don't want to do that. That's childish to them. That's childish. That's childish. At 16, on a ride. They want to call. Call and they want to shoot them. They want to make videos about it. You tell me half of these parents, how you want to know in your house? You want to know it's ugly reality. I'm going to be real. 85% of the homes in New Orleans is governed by single mothers. That's an ugly true and they don't know what's in their house my daughter don't have to like me but i gotta know what's in her room exactly. i gotta know who's on the phone i gotta know how many facebook and instagram pages she have because she got one for her mama and she got one for her friend they do have two pages all the children let me tell you something my baby used to get mad with me she said mama i'm the only one getting my phone checked i said well that's on you you know what i'm saying like you got to be involved you got to keep it real these children won't be grown. You got to talk grown to them. You can't sugar talk. So we telling them, so you saying, so y'all saying we can't get the children uh -huh. that's now growing up no, to be young I mean, adults. No, I mean, you can't give them no kind of leeway. You got to give them a little bit. But see that, see that party? See that St. Marico? Nobody child shouldn't be going there. Because y'all know them going to South <laughs> Listen, my, from, 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 from after I went to that party, and I went to it ain't the house. It ain't the house. Listen. Mona, listen, I done been listen to several parties there. I went, I went three times. If it ain't close, Miss Sam, they'll see me. It's the people. That's Chef around. My baby not going. I'm sorry. See, a lot of people be wanting their children to have. Well, that's, I mean, I understand that that's your choice as a parent. But it ain't the house. But you know what? But it goes back to my You can't blame the house. The house ain't shit. Nobody. It ain't the house. It's the house. If anybody can book it, that's the point. My thing is, why don't we know who our children are going to the park with? My daughter, exactly. go to the party, I got to know who is the chaperones, who gives the party. All of a sudden, you just became your friend where you were hanging there. These children go to parties and they don't even be in the club parties. Keep them be outside the party singing. And somebody, talking. somebody made a comment earlier. A billion, a, somebody made a comment earlier and said, you have another party, you can sweep the, the, the police can sweep the whole party. If you have another party, you'll see guns from here to from here to three blocks down. I'm sure it had guns. Some people the child to tell them what to do. Like, some people don't know to check on the children, to check their location, to see what's going on, who's at the party. They busy doing now you can take this platform. And but you be told, we do it. take the platform and do it. They don't be king. Hold up, now. So you mean to tell me a parent? They, ain't they got their don't location know to on. Check on they child? got their boyfriend location on. I ain't buying it. I ain't buying it. I didn't watch them make I'm fake I'm pages I'm to follow their baby daddy, baby mama, but you ain't got a fake page to watch your child. I ain't buying it. The parents let them go. They don't care. They let them go because they don't want to wrestle with them. Cause it's a wrestle if you don't go. If you don't let your child go, you mean you the mean mama. They won't run away. Then you gotta deal with them running away. You got to you got to report them. You got to post them on Instagram like they're missing instead of being honest and saying they're running away. Like it's it's a it's a no ending battle. Some 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 parents is tired. Some parents have more than one child. But they tired let of me, fighting battles. Let me ask you a real question. Teams, teams and and I really want a real question. Why is this only happening in Orleans Parish? Why ain't this happening in Gretna? Something gotta be different. No Something structure. Gotta be different. 
There got to be some type of structure that's different that we not doing that they doing. Because you ain't going to have a teenage party in Gretna with a bunch of teenagers with guns and it go down like that in Gretna. Oh, girl, that's I think about it. If all point. the people was on the street, that's my Gretna come and shut the party down that's inside the house. That's girl, it. please. The street got to be clear first. What did you say? Girl, it's the same way. We got the manpower. We all in town. But when you got... Girl. But I mean, a lot of, a lot of across the nation. Y'all saw what happened when the police went, drove up to the boys that was doing the donuts. Y'all see how they kicked the police car, jumped all over the police. Not about to go battle with all them children with all them guns. One and two troopers. All these don't have the manpower. Is this this is my this is my issue. My issue is the police out. Them the police are nerdy. When the police might need to the police You got a lot of people that's in the comments that be calling the police for bullshit. I just feel like we got a police before we act in the police, and I feel like we always end up solving crime way before the police. Social media solve more crime than the police saw because we know. What's going on in the hood? We know what's going on with each other. I just kind of feel like we didn't got so scared that we don't care. These children got these children got their parents in fear. We got each other in, in fear, and we can't tell each other nothing. We can't. There's no way you telling me the children could come to your house, and I gotta be able to just play every child that can come to my we house. It's a battle. It's a battle with the parents. We gotta see our children. When children with the and, and that's a. Brooke, and that's how I want to say Brooke. That's they, what I'm they cut up in Gretna too. So do they cut up in Gretna too, but Gretna go pull up a hand. New Orleans police got all Gretna these rules. They can't handling. touch nobody. Girl, they can't please. do this. They can't do that. When Reedy was about to fight, you know, I was telling that man, what the hell? He was like, we can't, we can't tell these people. We can't make these people do nothing. I'm like, what? Because see, Gretna, they're going to do whatever they got to do to do whatever they got to do to gain control. New Orleans police yeah. department don't have that authority to do all this. They don't have it. We don't they don't have nobody to back them up. Soon as the police do something to one of our children, we gonna want to throw the police there, under the car, under the bus. There you go. There you go. Me, I'm gonna say that. Well, that's how they have to That must be how some of y'all is. That must be take him. He should. He almost stay around here. He shouldn't have been out here. Take him. And I ain't gonna well, bother him. When you a I'm minor, really you ain't gotta bother him. Bother. Ain't gonna bother him. When you a minor, you ain't gotta bother him. I'm working with the police. I'm working with the police. You gonna be in trouble. You see what I'm saying? You can call me. Let me tell you about it. Oh, well, catch me. Get your child. You that got to call me and catch me. That's Let me tell you a true story that I heard from a judge in, in Orleans Parish. A judge in Orleans Parish told me if a child do a certain thing, that they are battled with being too harsh on a child, that they get slack for being too harsh on these kids, that, oh, they just did this and they did that, so they don't want to give them such a harsh punishment. But if they turn around and go do the same act on the street, now the judges look like, Oh, you put them back out there. Yeah. You gave them a slap on the wrist. So they they, they sit there like, should we be hard? Should we not be hard? My son, who graduated in 2001 from, from in the call, had a reading disability key. They had a program that paid him for a trade and paid him to get there every day. I said, I found that out on the street. I said, why don't everybody in the school know about this program? There's a lot of programs in the city for these children. There's a lot that they're not telling our people, but we got to really be honest and say, do our kids even want to go? Half of these children, you got to be honest and say, these kids got to want it. These parents got to want it. We could say we got... Well, that's what I was saying. See, that's what I'm saying. Times are different. Back in the day, I never wanted to go to summer camp. And they made me go. <laughs> they made me go to summer camp. I didn't want to go swim with them ugly people and all that. They made me go. Made they would go. They, you got to get out of here. Your cousin don't want to make them go. You need to tell them to make them go. The, the, you know the, the, the lifeguards were teenagers. How we had so many parks and clothes during the summer and because we didn't have no lifeguards when the teenagers were the lifeguards. Because who making their children go? I have, I have a question. They they how you make a child service. go? When the child they tell you they ain't going, what you do? You go. <laughs> <laughs> Pull them out of their fucking face and tell them they're going. What's up? Girl, please. They got to go. I say to go, you're going. Now, I don't know what kind of parents they yep. got going on in their house, but I got, I'm the only adult in this house here because I'm the only one. That's it. If I say you got, to go, you got to go, and that's the, end of the, that's the end of it. What's up? What's up? 
Oh, that's it. Okay. 